I bought a bunch of the cheapest scam slimes from the internet and today I'm gonna be testing out if they're actually worth it. I have in front of me five of the cheapest scam slimes that I could find on the internet and I wanna start right here where I'm most excited to try out. I have never felt a good water slime. So I went and specifically looked for three different kinds of water slime. This one is Demo Forest Night. It doesn't smell like anything, which is kind of disappointing. Oh my gosh, this is an actual water slime. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so disgusting looking. Yeah. I feel like I'm regretting my choices right now. I've never felt one of these before and I didn't know it was gonna be so intensely mucusy, which is why we don't sell this at Peachy Babies. What kind of cool stuff can you even do with these? Can you make a slime bubble? Oh my gosh, it does make a slime bubble. I've watched hours of people playing with water slimes on the internet and I honestly couldn't predict that it was gonna feel like this. Okay, so that's the stinky orange one. Let's try the other two that we have here. <laughs> this one is definitely much more jello-like. Oh my gosh, it moves so weird. But this is cool though. I definitely understand the appeal. I really thought this was gonna be for me, kind of slime, but. Personally, I'd give it maybe a four out of 10. This one's certainly worse than the last one. It smells exactly the same though, so maybe that's the ingredient that I've been missing that makes it kind of stinky. I don't know what it is. Let's move on to this big labelless water jug. It has the same smell too. Ooh, that's cool, look at that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, the clear one is so cool. Whoa. That's like another level to clear slime right there. And it, why is it so warm? These ones aren't warm. This one's just really radiating some sort of strange heat. <laughs> Concerning. Another added element to this is the sound. Maybe that's why it's called water slime. It's because when you drop it, it sounds like water. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's walking around. Okay, I think now it's time that I mix all three of these together. Starting off with our nasty orange. Oh, make a beautiful green water slime in here. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Come here. I can't get it. Come here. Let me grab a slightly smaller bowl real quick. Now for my favorite part, transferring it. Oh, that was not as satisfying as it was supposed to be. What I see people on Instagram do for ASMR shots, they'll fill up a bowl super full with water slime and then just like. I don't know, I feel like it was pretty cool. It's definitely a water slime. I can now say that my search to feel water slime is over. A five out of 10, it's good, but I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> on to the next one. This, again, looks like jello, but in an extremely different way from the last one. This feels pretty nice. This is actually very weird. Oh my God, <laughs> it smells so bad. This is interesting. It, this probably just looks like a normal clear slime, I would say, but it's like extra activated, but it doesn't feel overactivated. But the cool thing about this one, it came with this little kit. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it because it didn't come with instructions or anything, but you guys, when I saw this on the website, I was like, I need that. I've done tennis racket. I've done the cooling rack. This is exactly what I needed. A little tiny, great looking object of some sort. But I'm not sure what this liquid is. And then some pads. I think that might be for cleaning it later, but for now, we're just gonna test out this. Right off the bat, that was like way better than any other time that I've tried to do that. Whatever this super strange consistency is to this slime was like designed specifically for this thing. I'm gonna give this weird stinky slime a two out of 10 because it didn't even really do what it was supposed to do. So we have these two tiny little things of Bingzu. It's like a little tiny DIY kit. So I get my cute little slime, smell test. 
It smells bad, but not as worse as all the other ones we've had today. I'm gonna add in these cute little charms. This looks like it's supposed to be a strawberry lemonade with a cherry on top, which is interesting conceptually. Someone out there is much more creative than I am. Let's test out the texture and mix it together real quick. The texture feels extremely thick which I am a huge fan of. I love a good thick slime. There's not a whole lot of Bingzu in here for it to be a Bingzu slime, but the texture is so nice. I do wish that there was more of it though. So I think I'll open this one up and add it together so I can have like a substantial amount of slime in my hands and it doesn't feel like I'm just holding a dollop. The color of this one is so pretty. That literally looks like under the ocean. Very well picked out charm mix. I think that looks gorgeous. It looks like blueberry bush meets Hawaiian flowers. So maybe like tropical flower crunch. Hopefully this one is the exact same texture as the other one because I loved it. If you guys wanna see me fix these like I did in our last video, I'm gonna be doing that on Instagram. So keep an eye out for that. This texture feels exactly the same. Honestly, so nice. I wonder what they do to this to get that exact texture and if it somehow relates to how bad it smells. <laughs> this could use about three times the amount of Bingzu to get a good, good crunch. I mean, there's a crunch, but it's not like a crunch. You know, that's what I'm looking for. Let's get this mixed up here. This reminds me of last time when I did this and they gave me a bunch of these tiny little containers of slime with a straw that I was supposed to make bubbles out of. I feel like this texture would make such good straw bubbles. You know what? Let's try that out. This was by far my favorite thing that I tried out last time we did this. So I'm very excited. I have my straws here. I'm gonna section it off into two sections. There we go. Yeah, that one wasn't great, probably because there's not a whole lot of air coming out of here, but I remember last time, this was like the most joyous moment of my life. Whoa, that's so cool. This is not really giving me that. Maybe because it's a Bingzu and has stuff in it. I'm not really sure. You know what? I think the problem is that I'm using a Bingzu, so I'm gonna try this one that we tried last time. This was a good inflating texture for the grape thingy, so maybe it'll be good for this too. I'm not giving up because it was so easy last time. Oh my gosh, that one was so good. That was honestly way bigger than even the last time that I did it. So I guess the secret actually is to have a less activated slime than a more activated slime and have nothing in it. No charms, no bingsu, no nothing. This is going up from a three. I think it was a three last time I rated it. I'm gonna give it a five because it made me very happy with the straws. This bingsu gave me such high hopes, but it's like a disappointing piece of gum. Did not give me the bubbles that I was hoping it would. This is getting the three out of 10. Not enough bingsu in there. I don't like the smell at all, and it didn't even make bubbles. So honestly, overall, I'm just really not a fan of this Bingzu. But you know what, Bingzu, I am a fan of. Peachy Baby's Shimmering Lychee Juice. I did a test over the weekend, and I tested out every single slime that we have in the shop right now, and this one was my number one favorite to play with. I kid you not, that's true. That was on my time off. I love this slime. So go check it out at peachybabies.com. We restock every single Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you there. <gasps> Peachy babies. For our next slime, I have these two mystery boxes. So this is one of the DIY kits. This is the flame slime. So we have all of our components here. All right, flame slime. This one doesn't smell bad. Oh my gosh. Who blessed me today to make one of my slimes not smell bad? Let's test out the texture here. Thick, but sticky. Not at all what I would kind of want in a slime texture, I don't think. Extremely gummy, very sticking to my hands, but also kind of hard to pull apart, which is very interesting. It doesn't feel horrible though. It's not like impossible to touch. So it gets points for that. Let's see what we have going on here. Our cherry, which is actually broken in half. We have what looks like some jelly pop foam. Kind of looks like marshmallows. What I can only assume is probably clay, but I'm not sure what about flames would come with a little baggy of brown clay. Like what exactly? I don't know, maybe it's logs that are burning on the fire. Let's test out how this clay feels. It almost feels a little bit dried out. I'm not exactly looking forward to seeing how this slime is gonna look with just like a tint of brown in it. I don't know. But also the thing about jelly cubes is when you're mixing them into slime, you kind of want them to be fully saturated in order to get those really good pops. So I would have liked to let this sit here for like 12 hours to let it really get in there, but they sent it to us dry. Usually when I see a DIY kit, I kind of know what I'm assembling. This, I didn't get a whole lot of context clues from the outside of the packaging. So I guess I'm supposed to make it look like a flame. I'm gonna make these into logs of Firewood? I can see the vision coming together, kind of. 
that if we had a little bit of a fire charm to go right on top of here, that would be perfect. But of course, what we have is this cherry. I am confused. This is lava cookout cherry slime. Maybe flame slime was kind of off with their naming. Let's see if when we mix this slime together, it redeems itself. Maybe the texture of the clay will be able to remedy that a little bit. The problem with slime being super gummy like this is it makes it really hard to play with. Okay, so far this color is not coming out as bad as I expected. It's kind of purpley now somehow. On second thought, the brown definitely came out and overpowered this a little bit. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Overall, I had fun creating this, but I'm gonna have to give it a four out of 10 because I can see its potential, but I'm not thrilled. So here we have the same one, but a different theme. Maybe this theme will be better. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Give me all of the add-ins. This is so much more fun already. What is the theme? It doesn't have a name. It's obviously peach themed, which is very fitting for peachy babies. It smells exactly the same. So yeah, this is the exact same slime, which is totally fine. It is gonna be gummy though. And there's no clay to counteract that this time. This slime is gorgeous. That is perfectly see-through, very pretty, but I'm not a fan of the feeling. Let's start adding these first so they have enough time to saturate. Fold them in there. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little packet of Bingzu, chunky glitter, beads. These are very interesting. I feel like I've never really seen these before. Very cool. Some peaches and big peaches. So I'm gonna add all the stuff that's gonna change the texture of the slime first, like this Bingzu. It's very interesting to see somebody add Bingzu in with the jelly cubes. That's an interesting angle that I've never seen that before. I wonder how they interact with each other. I like that you can see right in. I think once we add the glitter, it'll get even prettier. I am a little bit nervous that this is gonna be too many add-ins. There's already so much going on in here, but it is gorgeous. I love that. Hopefully these are gonna add a good like sound to the slime, I think. I'm not really sure what the visual purpose of these would be. I'm guessing this is going to be a very crunchy slime and I love a good crunchy slime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's already so crunchy. I haven't even mixed it in yet. Those crunches are heavenly. So let's add in our peaches. I'm gonna save a couple of these for the top. Oh, these peaches smell funny. <laughs> that was an unexpected curveball. The charms have a smell. <laughs> mm. I'm pretty happy with this, but let's hear those crunches one more time before I assemble it all together. Well, that is a very loud slime and I love a good loud slime. And now they gave us quite a few charms. These are super cute though. Adorable, it kind of looks like a little turnip farm from Animal Crossing. This, I'm gonna say, is the best slime that we've gotten from any of our scam slime videos. I think it's adorable. Yeah, the jelly cubes were kind of a disappointment, but I'm gonna overlook that because she's so beautiful and she has basically no flaws. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video gets 3,500 likes, I will work an entire day at Peachy Babies in a vampire costume for Halloween. If you wanna see me fix these, make sure you check out our Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.